Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Lucy Ann. It's good to see you. Well, see you for a moment. I can't see you. I don't know why people say see you when they can't actually see me. That's weird. Okay, never mind. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if it's your first time here. Um, this video look is just going to be a simple, natural, blurry face kind of thing with just a bright red lip. It's how I rock a red lip on the everyday, kind of my everyday kind of red lip glam, so to speak. So if you want to see how I achieve this look, keep watching. Okay. So to start off on the face, I'm going to be going in with two primers. That's the Glam Gold Primer and the Maiden Baby Skin Boy. Started using both a while back. Um, got into using the Glam primer just because I saw other YouTubers recommend it. And a funny one was like, don't just use one primer. Use two. And, and this is just one. I wish I could say what it fully did, but it just takes too long. And I just use the four razor because my four times insane. For foundation, I'm going to use the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Foundation. It's my go to matte foundation. It's going to be a little bit lighter than my skin tone just because I'm still tanning for the day, but it's the only long lasting really matte foundation that I seem to have at the moment. I got really into dewy foundations over the last year, so I feel like this is probably as matte as it gets. It's insane. I feel like we're not going to just have just foundation on anyway. Which is kind of Like, no matter what the foundation completely matches with the mouth. And For my eyebrows, I'm going to use the Freedom Makeup Dip Brow Pomade in Dark Brown. Um, I just use any dip brow. I started using the Anastasia like four years ago. Never used to bother with my brows before, and now I'm just obsessed with pomade. Like I've tried pencils, I've tried other methods, but I always just go back to the pomade because it works best for me. And you should always use products that just work best for what you want. For eyeshadow primer, I'm going to use the Emily Pro Bakes primer. Mm. It's cheap, it works, and I've been using this primer for probably about three years. I used to use the Urban Decay eye primer, but I couldn't afford to just keep paying for that when I was a student. And then I saw in Superdrug that there was a £2 or £1 version and I just started using this and it works for me just because I have such hooded eyes like I have a double creeps on this one and this one just kind of does its own thing um, so I always just like prime and set my eyes using powder and all my powder just because then I know it's extra safe and my oily lids are not going to be on the end of the day. The palette I'm going to use for the look is the Oh My God Eyeshadow Palette from Brown Brushes. It's supposed to be a Jack and Hill eyeshadow dupe. Um, it's actually pretty good. Uh, from trying out the Jack and Hill palette, I'd say this works better, but I could just be. The first shade that I'm going to use on the outer part of my eye is just going to be this light, light brown shade here. Nice matte colour and that's just kind of going 
everywhere I make out of the eye. Just because I want to keep them quite soft for the eyes, because for me, the, the whole point of this look is for the bold lip. Obviously, if you want to do a bold eye and a bold lip, like, do you. But if I'm going like out in the daytime, I'm going to do something just a little bit softer. I kind of tend to go for more neutral kind of brown shades in the eyes, just soft so the whole focus is just kind of drawn to the lips. I know I'm making a mess, but once I can seal it, but it disappears anyway, so at least I know that I've blended it out where I want to blend it to accurately. I'm just, I'm just messing with it. For the inner eye area, just here, I'm going to take a flat pack of brush using the soft brown next to the brown I just used on the palette. I've zoomed out for the next part just because I'm going to conceal and contour my face and then I'll finish off the line in a second. For concealer I'm going to use the Lake Pollution Conceal and Divine in C8.5. This is going to be probably a really light. I usually use a really light and light. Just do a little triangle measure. Try and highlight on the tiny face. It's back in the forward shade today. Um, I really like this concealer. I'm so glad that I'm so glad that Makeup Revolution did a good quality dupe concealer, which just makes me happy because I'm sick of spending sometimes I'm just sick of spending a fortune on products that I use every single day that isn't always as good. I've tried so many concealers that the people recommended and the tutors recommended that just did not work for me. Um, so I always take recommendations that people obviously like give, but you have to apply it separately for like if you've got oily face or if you have a dry face or combat or whatever it is and just let it work. So I have to be careful with concealers just because I have this little line crease under my arm. And I know that sometimes concealers can just set really, really funny. And then if I stretch out my arm, you just get this like complete line underneath. And I hate that. So I'm always trying to find a concealer that just works best. Then I'm just gonna set my and dry using the Lord that's a super brightening powder. And just have a piece of this and then just sweep it through. And I'm going to do whatever works best by kind of block and then just like. I'm no expert, I just work with you for what works for me. Then to bronze my face, I'm going to use the Missing Beach Bees Bronzer Bronzing and Contouring Powder in Fiji. I've never really been a massive um, powder bronze. But I thought I'd, I've always used kind of like cream contour since I really got into makeup. I kind of always went into using cream contours, and then over the summer I just started using more powder based. And actually, it's not as terrifying as I thought it was going to be. I think it's because I used to have such a super like dry face, and so like round here just used to get so kind of like. Just look like I was putting dirt on my face. So it's always good to like change your routine and test out new things, which is what I really like about makeup. You constantly just change your mind and try out new things. I'm actually going to use blusher for this look, which I never normally use blusher unless I'm doing something that's all about the lips. I don't know why, I just kind of like to keep the face kind of natural ish. 
looking. Obviously, it's not natural, but natural to those who wear makeup. I'm going to take the Morphe 9N blush palette, and I'm just going to go under the brush. I'm just going to go in with the second shade here. It's kind of like a very, it's very pinky, and I just like it because sometimes it just makes you feel really like blush can sometimes make or break the look. I want to make the look like I have slightly rosy cheeks, but not like I've just dipped my face in, I don't know, flops or something. I'm trying to think of something pink. And then the gray just didn't want it. Also started, I also applied to my nose and the inner part of my forehead just because I really like this kind of like sun, sun okay sunburn type look and I feel like it just works really well for me. Obviously I apply blush I when I apply blush, do whatever's best but I just think it just makes me look like Youthful, more youthful, if it's a problem thing like So, I'm going to finish off the eyes, so I'm going to go back in with this eyeshadow palette and I'm going to take this nice kind of, let's say it's a whitey, creamy, silver shimmer, and I'm just going to take it on the inner corner of my eye very lightly. Just slowly like, bring it. A little bit onto the just ever so slightly into the lower part of the eye. Because I can't ever do a look where I haven't got a little bit of shimmer, I'm obsessed with shimmer eyeshadow now. So if I can add a bit of shimmer, I'm just just makes the face it's so sticky and I'm brighter and I love that's what I love about in a corner highlight is it just makes your eyes just like mm. so I'm gonna take the original fluffy grip blending brush that I used I'm gonna go back in with that first shade and I'm just gonna blend that out with the rest of Then for mascara, I'm going to use the Barry M That's High Roll Mascara, obviously in black, and just coat both my upper lashes and my lower lashes. You can add falsies if you want to this look. I don't want to. I mean, I'm either all the way or no way with falsies. Like, see, my like eyelash extensions or you know, big bold eyelashes. Yeah, so I'm either on board with like lash, lash extensions I really like to get into. And if I'm going like out out, I, I go such a bold eyelash, but I never go out, out, out. So it's where I have like such a bold lash all the time because I just end up picking at it. Like I'll be sat out for food and I'll just be like snogging this lash. With the edge, and then the edge comes off, and then I get annoyed because the edges come off. I'm like, why would you pick the edge off for? If you just spent ages putting, oh, it's such a frustrating. Am I the only one who has that experience with eyelashes? Like, you think, like, oh, they won't fall off, and then you start picking at them, and then it starts to fall off, and then you're like, why would you pick at it for? Why would you? It can't be just me. Please comment or like if you're also someone. And then it's off, and I'm like, oh, great, the one's gotta go now. For highlighter, I'm gonna use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Black Glow Kit, the first and only glow kit for. And, and then I'm gonna go into Dripping Gold, which is the only colour out of it panel. And I'm gonna take that. Just 
then obviously for lip filler, which is going to be a bright red, which this whole look is about, I'm going to use the Jeffree Star Velour Good Liquid Lipstick in Red Rim. I'm going to take a lipstick brush as well, um, just because I found recently that liquid, she knows, I found recently that liquid lipsticks look better for me because I hate that super dry feeling. And they just look better for me if I just use a lip brush. And then I get exactly the effect that I want. And then I also don't overline as well. The amount of times with a little applicator brush that I just completely overline my lips and I'm like, okay, now I'm cloud or brown the same. It never works. That's the makeup look finished. I'm just going to fix my hair so you can see the finished look in all its glory. This, guys, is the finished look. I hope you like it. I hope you've enjoyed this video. It's good to be back on YouTube. It's good to be filming again. Hopefully, I'll be posting more regularly as the year ends and we go into 2019, which feels super crazy to say the 2019. Sorry, can't speak. That 2019 is just around the corner. That feels super crazy. That I've lost a whole year of my life and I don't remember what to do. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you like the look. I hope you try out the look. I hope it works for you. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I can use all the support as I get as I'm growing my channel. And please subscribe if you want to see more videos. I'm going to try and post every week. I know I've said that before. If you've watched my channel before, I have said, oh, I'm going to post every week and then disappear for like a year. This time, I'm serious. <laughs> I'm serious. I'm going to try and post as much as I can. So please keep tuned for that. Um, yeah. Hope you enjoyed the look. I've already said that. <laughs> See you guys soon and have a great week.